There are four ways to manage a Palo Alto Networks firewall. You've got the web interface, you've got CLI, Panorama, and the XML API. You're most likely going to use the out-of-band management interface, which is the management port of the firewall, which is on the control plane. There's also a serial or console port available for out-of-band management, but I, I usually connect something like an open gear console server to that. And uh, these ma these management interfaces, uh, for example, the management port is used for things such as license retrieval and also to get updates for the threat and application signatures. That's all done through the management port on the control pane. So I want to talk about some of the management uh, methods a little bit in, in some detail for the PCNSA exam. So I'm going to share my screen here. You can see that I've got access already to my firewall and I'm using the web interface, right? So we use the web interface. You browse over to uh, the, I, the management IP address of your firewall using HTTP or HTTPS, preferably the latter, right? It's more secure. You could use CLI. You're going to open a terminal application on your computer uh, and then you're going to, uh, once you're authenticated, you're going to use commands to configure that firewall. You can use Panorama, which is a centralized management uh, method to manage multiple firewalls, but I'm not going to go over that in this video. And then there's also the XML based, which if you just browse to the IP address of the firewall slash API, you can browse the XML API and, and see what can be done through the XML API. It's going to be using a, uh, it's going to be using the REST API interface of the firewall. And what I would suggest is to look at the documentation, which you can see down below right here, REST API. If you click on that, you'll get a lot of good documentation that's stored on the firewall. You can also view a lot of that uh, documentation on the Palo Alto Networks website. All right. So the one thing I, I also want to talk about with managing a firewall is there something called an interface management profile all right so i'm over here in the network tab and i'm looking at interfaces currently and if you look at the interfaces here there is a management profile column i do have one management profile attached to ethernet one slash two on the left side there is a, a navigation for interface management now it is possible to use a data interface for managing the firewall. This is good backup for the management port just in case it's down or it's not accessible. And a data interface can have different services binded to them, such as HTTP, HTTPS, Telnet, SSH, SNMP, uh, a lot of different services that you can associate to an interface. And, and now this interface management profile will protect your firewall from, from unauthorized access because you can control uh, what service can be used on that, on that data interface and what IP is allowed or permitted to access that service. So you can see here on the right, there is a permitted IP addresses section. And if you click on add, you can just type in you know, a subnet uh, or a specific IP address, and then you hit OK. I'm not going to add that. If, if it's empty, it means it's going to allow any IP address. So uh, again, by default, I don't know if I've mentioned this already, by default, if there is no management, management profile associated or assigned to an interface, the firewall will deny any access to those network services or, or those protocols because it's not enabled there for that interface. So if you look at, uh, again, I'm at network and interfaces, you can see I have one interface connected, which uh, I have considered as my public facing interface here on my lab. It's on ethernet one slash one. If I, uh, you can see the link state's green. So if I click on dynamic DHCP client, you can see I have an IP address assigned that's using DHCP. So what I want to do is ping that IP, and you can see that it is the firewall is not responding to my ping. 
request. What I want to do is allow ping, right? It's a good way to see if something is up and running. So I will go back to network and then interface management, and we will create a management profile that's going to allow ping. So I'll click on add at the bottom and we'll give this a name. I'll call it untrust management profile. On the left half side of the screen, I'm going to go under network services and just allow ping. I can specify an IP address that's permitted to ping, but I'll keep that uh, empty for now. I'll, I'll, I will keep it unconfigured, which will allow any IP address to ping this interface. We'll click on OK. And after that, we go back to interfaces at the top here. Then click on Ethernet 1 slash 1. We need to assign that management profile interface. So once we go to the that specific Ethernet interface, I will go to the Advanced tab. And down here under Other Info, there is a Management Profile drop-down box. I will click on that. You'll see th um, the three options I have because none is one of the options. And then I have two management profiles configured. I'll select the untrust management profile, the one I just configured, and then click OK. Now that we've made our changes, that's all I need to do. We will commit these changes. I'll add a, a, a commit description here. I'll say uh, created untrust management uh, profile. They created interface on trust management pro we'll click commit and then we should see these pings start uh, responding here from the firewall once that commit status is complete so we'll wait for that to complete over at 100 percent there we go even at 98 percent we can see that my firewall is responding to my pings and there that's it there you have it that's firewall management interfaces on the Palo Alto firewall for the PC NSA. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Also talked about the interface management profiles. And I want to thank you for watching. Bye, guys.